In this episode, we're going to learn about DOM manipulation inside jQuery. And DOM manipulation is something used quite often either in JavaScript or jQuery. So it's very important we know how to update or change the DOM inside jQuery or JavaScript. So before we get started, I'd like to explain what exactly the DOM is. So you guys who don't know what it is, knows exactly what we're getting into here. So when it comes to a website like the one I have here, which is just a basic example, we can actually go ahead and update some of the content or the styling or the structure of the website uh, without having to refresh the browser. And that's because right now we have some information regarding this page here saved inside the DOM, such as the text or the HTML code that is around the text. All of this is being saved or stored inside the DOM. And what jQuery allows for us to do is actually change this so we can actually update whatever the content is inside the website. So what I could do just to show you guys an example of the DOM is that I can actually right click on any kind of element inside the website and go down to inspect, which is a developer tool that we have inside most browsers. I can click it and then you guys can see we have basically the DOM. Now inside of here, we can see HTML code, we can see scripts, we can see the console down here that tells us if we have any kind of errors inside a website or something else. And we have the styling over here on the right side. So if we were to actually go in here and click on something, change it, click enter, you guys can see we changed the content inside the website, which is because I went inside the DOM and changed some of the elements. Now, there are some differences when it comes to the DOM. Like we can't say that this developer tool is exactly like the DOM because sometimes it changes uh, in some rare examples. But just to make it very simple, the developer tool very closely represents what we have inside the DOM. So inside the text editor, you guys can see we have a pair of script tags, which right now has nothing inside of it, except for the document ready function we have in jQuery. We also have a couple of paragraph tags down here at the bottom, which are the two paragraphs you guys saw inside the website. Both of these have a ID set to test one and test two. Then I have an input down here at the bottom that says test three as an ID, which means that we can actually grab these using the IDs, which is why I gave them an ID. We also have a couple of buttons at the bottom that allow for us to do something when we click the buttons. What I would like to do in this episode is when I click the first button, for example, called text, then I would like to show what is inside the DOM when it comes to test one, which is going to be the content that is inside the paragraph tags. So the DOM method to have inside jQuery is a very good way for us to get data or content or change data and content or structure inside our website on the go just by doing something like clicking a button. So if I were to go inside my jQuery code, I'm going to say we want to have a selector. I'm going to select the button down here that has an ID set to button one. And then I want to have a click function. So we do something when we click this button down here. Now inside the click function, I'm going to say we have a function that is going to grab another selector. We're going to create another selector, which is going to grab a ID set to hashtag test one. And then I would like to get the text that is inside this paragraph here. So I'm going to say dot text parentheses semicolon. And this is basically going to get the text we have inside the DOM when it comes to the paragraph here. Now I'd like to actually alert this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say we have a alert function and put this inside the alert like so, and just kind of close off the semicolon after the alert. So now we should be getting the text inside this paragraph here. So we're to go back inside my browser, refresh, and then click text. You guys can see we get the actual text from inside the paragraph. Now, if I want to grab the text and the HTML inside the paragraph, what I can actually do is if I were to actually make this bold down here, just to give it some HTML inside the actual paragraph, we can actually get the HTML and the text from the DOM. So we can actually go back inside our function here and say we want to, actually we can just go ahead and copy this, paste it down. And say when we click button number two, which will be the HTML button here. We want to get the HTML from inside uh, test two. So we're gonna change it to test two and say HTML instead. So if we were to go back inside the website, refresh, and then click the button, you guys can see we get the HTML tags we put inside the paragraph together with the actual text. 
So now we can actually get both HTML and the content. Now, if I were to go back inside my code here and say, well, I also want to get the value from inside the input and go ahead and copy what we have up here and change it to button two, which means that we're going to get the input value and then inside my alert, I want to say I want to get test three, but not the HTML, I want to get the value. So I'm going to say VAL. So now if we were to go back inside my website, refresh and actually write something inside the inside the input, click input, you guys can see we get the actual value from inside the input. So this is how we can actually get data from inside the DOM, inside a website. Now, the next thing we need to talk about is how to actually change data inside the DOM. Because now we just got data, but we also want to set data. So if I were to go back inside my website here, I can actually go ahead and change up uh, the jQuery functions here. So instead of alerting stuff, I would actually like to change whatever's inside test one. So we're going to say that we want to grab test one. And then afterwards, we want to just delete the, the last parentheses. And then I want to change the text inside test one. So we're doing basically the same thing as we did here, except for inside the text function, I'm going to change the string into something else. So I'm going to actually write something inside the parentheses. So we're going to write, this is the new text, exclamation mark or something. Then we're going to save it. And then when I click the button, you guys will notice that the text up here changes. And we do that because we changed the DOM and I can actually show you guys an example of it. If we were to inspect the elements, you guys can see we have lorem ipsum dollar uh, sid amet. If we were to click the button, let's actually move it over so we can actually see the stuff and click it. You guys can see we changed it inside the developer tool, which is in fact showing off the DOM. So if I were to go back inside our website here inside the text document, we can also change the HTML inside our DOM. So if we were to go down and do the exact same thing down here, I'm just going to copy what we have up here, paste it in, change test two and change the HTML and then change it into something like, let's say we want not to have it bold, but italic. I can go and do that as well. Like so, I can actually go back inside the website, refresh, then click the button and you guys can see it changes into italic, which is quite nice. Now the last one down here is going to change any kind of inputs or text areas you might have inside your website. So if we were to go down and just copy paste one more time, change it to test three, change it to val, and then change it inside of here to something like new input data. Or something. Now, if we were to go back inside the website, I can actually go ahead and write something inside the input. And then when I click the button here, you guys can see that it changes into the text that I wrote in here. So this is how we can get and set the DOM inside jQuery. And we'll in fact be doing more when it comes to manipulating uh, HTML using jQuery. So if you guys enjoyed, I'll see you guys next time.